if this is repressurizing your reverse osmosis tank, the tank itself is very, very heavy, um, yet no water's coming out. So when we turn it on, you'll see there's some water and then it stops, yet it's very heavy. So all you've got to do is remove on the bottom of the tank the little plug. Underneath that, there's a little valve. You must leave the tank tap open to do this, otherwise you can pop the bladder. So you screw that off. You get your air pump. Screw the air pump. You can just come over here and have a look at the air pump. So I just use a regular one for doing car tires and that sort of thing. And then you just start pumping water in. As you're pumping air in, it's not actually repressurizing, it's just pushing the water out. But once all the water's pushed out and the tank's empty, it'll start repressurizing. Almost there. Okay, so the tank's empty now, and it's very light. If you come over here and have a look, it has pressurized somewhat when you look at the gauge, but you need to get it up to about 12 and a half PSI. And that's it, we're done. That's it.